Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video. So today I'm sharing a relaxing spa routine. I really needed this. I've been doing so much every single day between my kids and work. I haven't had any time for myself at all unless they're asleep. So on this day, I took full advantage to self-care and get myself feeling and looking my best again. This day was rainy and cold, so I'm starting with a nice cup of hot tea. I'm having my favorite, Echinacea Plus, because it boosts immunity. I purchased some bath bombs on Amazon. I've been using the Dr. Teal's ones for so long now. These had great reviews and smelled so good when I opened the box. I wanted to go with a more natural bath bomb. They are a little small, but I like it so far. I'm going to add some bubbles to my bath. I've shared this one before and I really like it. I just ordered two more for me and the kids. I've always loved Shea Moisture hair care and just getting into skincare and I'm impressed with everything I've tried so far. I do have a speaker in my bathroom for music, but it was dead, so I'm using my phone. I like to listen to Culture Code when I shower most of the time. I don't know why, it's just a thing. I'm wearing workout shorts and a sports bra in the tub. Unrealistic, but I'm not getting demonetized. Anyways, I'd like to have a bigger tub so my whole body can fit under the water without having my legs out. I have to keep switching positions. In the shower, I'm going to wash and condition my hair using these products, same as I did for Ruby last weekend. I'm exfoliating with this Shea Moisture Body Scrub. It's so good and has good ingredients, and it leaves my skin super soft and hydrated. I'm also using my foot file for my feet, shaving, and all the things I normally do in the shower. After every shower, I always use this rose water toner spray all over my body and I'm in different PJs now. They're both from Target. My hair is in a towel drying. Now I'm going to start my at-home laser hair removal. I already did the first step, which is to shave your legs. You want to do this before applying any moisturizer and read the directions carefully. I'm using the setting based on my skin complexion, which is the lowest setting.
I'm curious to see if this will save me time and eliminating a step in the shower with shaving my legs. I also like to remove the hair from my arms just so it's nice and soft. Now I'm filling up the tank for my facial steamer, then I'm washing my face with a gentle foaming cleanser since I didn't wear makeup on this day. My skin was acting up and breaking out and I could not figure out why. It's finally been getting better the last few weeks with a few changes that I've implemented into my skincare routine. I've been changing my pillowcase more often, actually moving the pillows that I sleep with at night off the bed so it's not touching any other surface. I've started sanitizing my headphones because I wear them so much and sweat in them when I work out and listen to music. The breakouts were mainly on the sides of my face close to where I wear my headphones and so far I haven't had any breakouts, not even hormonal breakouts this month. The texture of my skin has improved dramatically but I'm left behind with blemish scarring which is such a pain but I'm exfoliating more often and using my microdermabrasion tool to help lighten up the scars and it's working. I took pictures when my skin was at its worst and I just took progress pictures last week and there's a huge difference. I just started using this Clinique exfoliating cleanser. I got it as a sample from Sephora. It's a super fine, almost like baking soda textured exfoliant. I love this and I will definitely be repurchasing. Now I'm going in with this microdermabrasion tool that was sent to me as PR and I'm so glad they did because this is exactly what I needed to combat these scars. I only use this once a week on the lowest setting because it is intense and I don't want to damage my skin. After I use this, my skin is so soft and my products penetrate deeper. When I use my resurfacing serum, it stings the first time but by the next day, it's fine. And I'm making those weird faces to hold my skin taut so it can glide easier. You can't use any oils while using this. The skin has to be dry, so it makes it easier for me to move the tool around without suctioning my skin into it. I'm using that Origins clay mask that I always use. I'm running out and need more. Now that my pores are fully open from the steam and exfoliating, I use this to suck out anything that could possibly be left. After about 10 minutes, I let that harden and wash it off. Now I'm going in with an eye mask. I love these and I keep them in my skincare fridge so it's nice and cold. Also following up with a deep moisturizing sheet mask that I also keep in my skincare fridge. The cold will close my pores back up while putting back in the moisture. I did spray my face once again with toner because it felt dry and I'm just rolling the mask onto my face with my rose quartz roller also kept in my fridge. I love the cooling, soothing feeling. A lip mask too because might as well mask all at once while I get ready to take care of my nails. Before I filmed this video, I soaked off my dip polish because one of my nails or two of my nails broke while filming a cleaning video. I was in so much pain and I just wanted them off. First I used acetone in a glass dish to soak off my nails and that didn't work. It was not budging so I tried foil and cotton and that method didn't work either. It was a complete fail. Then I remembered my nail tech always files my nails before she uses the acetone so that's what I did and it still took over an hour to completely come off. I had to keep stopping and rubbing it off until it did.
since then I did cut my nails down really low so now I'm just filing them not really for a shape just so they aren't sharp anymore and snagging on things Ruby came into the bathroom and was laughing at how crazy I looked she's never seen me in a sheet mask before and the eye mask under she said made me look like jigsaw <laughs> I could not keep a straight face This is what my nails look like after filing. You can see my pinky and index fingernail is so broken and kind of hurts. I have a band-aid on because I accidentally rubbed a chunk of my skin off with my paddle in the shower. Anyways, I'm using this Japanese nail buffer that I found on Amazon to smooth out and buff my nails. There's a little indentation from where the dip was and I'd like to smooth that as much as possible. Dip isn't like gel or acrylic, it won't damage your nail. After that, I'm using this OPI cuticle oil. I didn't find it necessary to cut my cuticles since they are in good shape. I also don't know if I can manage to do that safely. For my toenails, I'm removing the leftover polish with acetone, then cutting them down and filing. I also picked up some white nail polish but forgot a top coat, however it still looked a lot better than it did so I was happy. I was washing my hands to take my mask off and my camera died so I set up my iPhone just patting in the excess product using a bit more rose water toner and getting ready to apply my nighttime skincare. All of these products I use I love and suggest. They work really well for my skin. I don't plan on changing them anytime soon. I didn't realize I was out of frame but I'm also using this Guasa Rose Quartz tool to lock all of my products in. This Origins overnight mask doesn't work for my face. It felt itchy and too heavy overnight, so I use it for my hands and feet now. With a different spatula, I'm applying this to my hands and then to my feet and using my aloe infused socks and gloves. I did also use my hand warmer for this part and just laid in bed while doing that. I didn't want to film that part, I just wanted to lay in bed and relax. I like to do this for at least 30 minutes. This is what my nails look like after my hand warmer. Now I'm applying my lash serum. I also use this on my eyebrows. I found it on Instagram and decided to try it out. I haven't had my eyebrows done since February. I'm not taking any chances doing it myself, so in the meantime, I'll just grow them out until I can go back. I'm putting in my teeth whitener. I forgot to mention that I also have in a hair mask. I'll insert what it looks like here. I keep that in overnight. 
This is the next day I decided to use my press on nails. That's why I didn't paint them. My toes are further away from sight so you won't see my little mistakes. They're not as visible. However, my nails are up close and in my video so I took this really easy effective route. I found these on Amazon. Not too bad for the price. I did buy a few more packs just in case one fell off which I'm expecting because I have a cleaning video to film this week. I feel so good and refreshed and relaxed and that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up and I'll make more like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video.